Hello and welcome to another Sprues and Brews unboxing. Today we're looking at some of the new releases for Necromunda from Forge World. So first of all I want to say a massive thanks to Games Workshop for sending us these free early review copies. To have a look at in the video what we're going to do is check out all the kits, have a look at all the components and then towards the end of the video I should have these painted and, and built to see what they look like in the flesh. So yeah we seem to have had a bit of a uh, steady rate of releases for Forge World recently and uh, a nice little assortment of resin kits up for pre-order today. We've got Ajax Gorgoth, Lord of the Fist, Goliath House Agent, we've got Rex Spies and Estus Jet, and we've got the Corpse Harvesting Party. So yeah, really looking forward to seeing what these look like uh, built up. So let's have a look at uh, good old Ajax first and see what he looks like inside the pack. So yeah, for a single character model, this has got a fair few bits. He looks really cool as well. So obviously he's got a bit of a uh, a Goliath aesthetic, obviously. But um, yeah, really cool. Big chunky model he's going to be. And obviously, like I say, it's got quite a few parts this kit. So it's going to be one that is potentially going to take a little time to to build. You're going to want to make sure you've you've cleaned all the components up and and just take your time building it because. Yeah, like I say, it's going to be a slightly more complex one than maybe some if you've only built plastic Necromunder kits before. Um, this may not be a great one to jump into as your first time. Obviously, if you're an experienced hobbyist and you've built uh, resin kits before, then I'm sure this will be no issue for you. But even then, there's a lot of kind of fiddly parts, a lot of small parts. You'll notice in a second that some of the parts have actually come off the... Uh, the kind of gates as well so just be careful when you're unpacking it that you don't lose any little bits so like there's a little bit of chain I think this is that's come off one of the uh, one of the parts and there's another kind of chain piece that they've actually put in this little baggie just to keep it safe so I'm probably gonna stick that in there too just to to make sure it stays okay so just be careful when you remove these components from here because what you'll find is that if you're not careful you might end up damaging or losing parts, so just take your time and don't rush building this one because, uh, yeah, I think it deserves to uh, to have some justice done to it because it is a really cool looking model. So I'll see you later on in the video. We'll see what this guy looks like uh, fully built and hopefully painted. But let's have a quick look at his, uh, his rules on here first. So all Necromunda kits tend to come with a little uh, pamphlet with normally kind of basic rules for them. But looking at this one, we've got quite a few details in here. So first of all, we've got the assembly instructions. And yeah, it's got quite a few parts. Just be careful when putting it together. Now, the, the rules for um, him himself. He's a bit different in that he is petitioned to join your gang. So you can't just pay some credits and have him join your gang. You have to uh, petition him. And depending on what happens, will determine how much it's going to cost you. So uh, basically you roll a d6, push your reputation. As your reputation increases, um, it's less likely for you to be able to hire him because obviously he thinks that he can, you, you know, you can handle yourself. You've got a pretty high rep. If you're a new gang though, it's more likely you get him for a cheap rate. So on a one to eight, uh, he, he joins the gang for a hundred credits. On a nine to 15, he joins the gang for 200 credits. And on a 16 plus he cannot join you so really it's going to be when you're at those lower ratings that it's more likely to hire him uh, especially you know fresh gangs or gangs that have been uh, maybe a little bloodied in the campaign are going to be more likely to hire him for cheap as well which is pretty cool uh, he's got the nah skill uh, during the fighter's activation they may attempt to perform a third action after completing their first two roll the d6 if the dice roll is equal to or less than their toughness they can perform the action if the roll is greater than their toughness or a six, um, their activation ends. So we'll see, he's got a toughness of four, which means that basically on a one to four, you can do a third action with him, which is really, really cool. So yeah, really nice guy. Um, like I say, we'll build him up and uh, see what he looks like. But next up, we have got Rex Spires and Estus Jet. So again, crack these open and see what they look like. 
So as you can see, compared to uh, the previous character, we've got way less parts here, so a bit more of an easier build. But yeah, these are cool. This is a pair of two different bounty hunters um, that can be hired for your gangs. It's interesting that they've bundled them both together in the same set. Um, certainly not a bad thing. I tend to collect all these uh, bounty hunter characters anyway because I like using them as a Venator bounty hunter gang or um, or you know just to have the options available when we're in a campaign I think that's that's quite cool to have so in this set they've bundled together two of the uh, available bounty hunters I think they're even from different books the rules for these guys but yeah they look really nice so we've got uh, Estus Jet who is a uh, some kind of test subject of unknown origin and then Rex Spies is a demolitions expert so as you would expect lots of explosive ability and we'll see that in a little bit when we come to look at the rules but yeah these should be fairly easy compared to the uh, the other guy to build up and like I said they're, they're relatively smaller models on 25mm bases compared to the big hunking base that uh, Ajax is on. So again we'll have a quick look at the rules for these guys. So again we get uh, assembly instructions, relatively few parts compared to the other ones so nice and easy to build. Um, so Rex Spires can be hired alongside the Vorgan Mort's line of gang to field two bounty hunters rather than the usual one and then during the pre-battle sequence Rex may place up to three booby traps. The booby traps he can play can be of any combination of those detailed in his fighter chart. Uh, he's a bounty hunter and then we've got Estus Jet who is an outlaw hired gun and again we get the stat cards as well so Estus Jet is 130 credits and Rex Spire is clocking at 315 credits and obviously you can drop those various different um, mines at the start of the battle so again they're really nice and again we'll have a look at those built and painted at the end of the video and then finally today we have got the corpse harvesting party so this is one that i've been looking forward to there's various um gang alliances that you can make during a campaign and um this is if we crack them open one of those gangs so we'll pop that over there so the mercator palinus corpse harvesting party so basically these guys will uh, reclaim, I guess it'd be the, uh, the more flowery way of doing it, collecting the um, ingredients for the corpse starch that is produced as food on Necromunda. So these basically just gather bodies and um, kind of sell them to um, the various harvesting plants to strip them down into, um, into food basically for the people in Necromunda, which is pretty grim. Um, and like with um, Ajax being able to petition kind of people join the guild, these gang alliances have a similar kind of mechanic. So what you can do is enter into an allegiance with this uh, kind of organisation and then hire them for your games. And then in here again, we get the rules for each of these guys. And then the assembly instructions. So they look really, really, really cool. So let's have a look at the parts in here. So again, we've got another pretty big kit here with these. There's lots of parts because you've got quite a few people, uh, five different models within the, um, within the, uh, they're not a gang really, more kind of allied force that you can have uh, fighting alongside your gang. And there's some really, really cool models in here. I really like the kind of the weird stuff. We've had the um, the Slaver Guild and the Water Guild before, and there's quite a few different kind of sub guilds that we haven't seen models for yet. So I'm really hoping that over the course of this uh, Necromunda campaign that Games Workshop's currently doing with books coming out every so often, we get kind of like the rest of these different factions. Because just from a painting point of view, I think they're really fun to paint up. Something quite uh, different about them compared to, um, you know, just say if you just collect Orlocks, for example, you could ally with these guys and maybe have like different types of models to paint up. So you've got a bit of variety 
in your force. Uh, and then obviously for collectors, they're nice to just paint up because they're cool models at the end of the day. Like I say, there's quite a lot of pieces in this set because you've got quite a few guys to build up. So again, like with um, Ajax, it's going to um, be a case of take your time, make sure you're not kind of rushing the build and just kind of enjoy the, uh, the experience of building them and painting them up. If you haven't built resin models before, you do get a guide to kind of how to put them together and how to clean them within the box as well. So don't worry about that. From a kind of assembly point of view, I think these guys actually look a little bit easier to put together than Ajax as well because he's uh, got quite a few kind of like small spindly parts that could be easily broken. But while these have got quite a big model count, um, parts wise per model is probably not too bad. So yeah, it's uh, maybe a little bit daunting the first time you put together a forge world kit, but once you've done it a couple of times, you know, you'll pick it up. I think the most important thing really is just to make sure you clean off all the release agent. Uh, basically the way the models are made uh, is that they use kind of like a release agent to help them pop out the mold when they're done. And what that can do is leave kind of like a, a, a kind of glossy residue on the models, which means that paint won't adhere to them if you don't clean it off quickly, uh, properly enough. So yeah, so just make sure you clean all that up. But what we're going to do now is jump ahead into the future and have a look at these models once they're assembled. And here's a look at the assembled and painted miniatures. There's still a couple of details that I need to go back on these and uh, finish off. But I wanted to at least get some base colours, get them shaded, get a couple of shades on there um, before I got the video out. Yeah, these were really, really good fun to, uh, to paint up. And like a lot of the... Um, hanger-ons and bounty hunters and all that kind of stuff. They're a really nice little palette cleanser to uh, get your teeth into something different. Um, so, you know, you, you can paint something outside of your gang and, and just kind of try out different techniques and colours. I, I really like doing this kind of stuff just for a bit of a refresher between projects. So Ajax is just coming around now. He's a really cool chunky model. Uh, one thing to be careful on him though, he's got like a cloak made out of chains on his back. Um, you probably see it as it spins around now. That is a little bit fiddly to get together. So just be careful with that when you're building it. Take your time. I'm sure I probably stuck some parts in the wrong place there. Because um, it's not terribly clear on the instructions where they all go. So... Yeah, be super careful with that. But otherwise, really, really nice models to paint up. Um, the Corpse Harvesting Guild, again, really, really fun models. And you've got different models within that kind of uh, organisation as well. You've got the guy coming up now with the plague mask on and the banner. You've got like, the leader in her robes. Lots of nice different textures to paint up, which makes it a fun little painting project. Uh, these guys now, Rex Spies and Estes Jet, were really cool to paint up as well. They're you know slightly smaller, just human-sized. Not too elaborate on the details, but enough detail to uh, be a nice little fun painting project. So yeah, so yeah, that is a, a quick look at all the new Necromunda editions this week. Uh, I do have a companion piece over on spruceandbrews.com as well, where there's some more photographs of these and a bit of a write about each of the kits. So head over to spruceandbrews.com if you are interested in that. Uh, if you would like to support the site, we do have an affiliate link for Element Games in the description. So if you follow that, uh, we get a little bit of a kickback and you'll save yourself some money too. Uh, and finally, if you have enjoyed this video, why not give us a follow? We do lots of unboxings, we've got battle reports back on the way. Hopefully we'll have some Necromunda battles on the site soon as well. So uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. Today we also have the new Cadian releases, there's a video up for those as well. Dave has been building and painting those, so uh, yeah, check them out if you are interested. But until next time, have a great weekend, and we'll see you soon.